Hey everyone, uh, we're trying to go live again here at uh, Rockwell Automation on the Move. I'm here with Gary, with Stratus, and uh, we're going to be talking about, I guess, where uh, the Stratus and their servers, redundant servers, right, yes. uh, fit into uh, this whole solution. Very good. Yes, my name is Gary Fort. I work for Stratus Technologies. I'm a consulting systems engineer for the company. And the basis of the CED process lab is really the server, the server that is providing them the platform to run all of their applications. And Stratus is unique in that we're a 37-year-old computer company that only does one thing, and that's provide specially built computers that are fully redundant. In other words, every component is redundant, running in lockstep, which is much like your eyes work. So if there is a failure, there is no takeover, there is no failover, everything is active, active. And if we pull the cover off of the system right here, hopefully you'll be able to see that. You can see I have two computers in there. Everything is duplex. Everything is running as one, so that if we were to pull out a disk drive or pull out an Ethernet cable or actually pull out one of the servers, the applications running the process lab will continue to run. There was no hesitation, no failover. So that's our value add when it comes to applications that are critical to the infrastructure and you can't afford to have failover or lost data because the data was never written to disk. That's in-flight data. So. That is our story. Again, 37 years of continuous availability. If you go to our website, www.stratus.com, you can get a lot more information. So what about those customers that say, like, I can get any server. It's fine. I don't need to worry about getting a, let's say, a possibly more expensive server here that's redundant. Well, the, there is no other server like this in the world. So people that say, well, I'll just buy a couple of Dells or HPs and I'm going to interconnect them some way, what they're creating is a recovery process. So they've already decided that, yeah, a computer is going to fail. I don't know when. Murphy will take care of that. But I'm going to come up with some type of recovery process so that I can recover from that failure. And the issue with that is that it takes time. You don't know when it's going to happen. And if data that was resonant in the memory of that node or computer that failed did not get written to disk, you just lost the data. And then the question is, was that important data? Can I reconstruct it? Can I have it regenerated somehow? Or did I corrupt my database and now i got to restore from backups? And that's going to take time. And now you have to look at what did it cost me as a company? Is it just saving face? Is it my reputation that I tarnished? Or did I lose product that I had to throw away? In some cases, you know, downtime, unscheduled downtime could cost a million dollars. In some cases, yeah, it's $10,000, but that may not be lost productivity. That could be a fine or some type of penalty from your largest customer because you couldn't deliver in time. So you really need to look at availability. You need to understand that if I have unscheduled downtime, what is the impact? And if you don't have any control over your computer systems, then you have to ask whoever's providing those computer systems, what's the impact to them? Unfortunately, it may be nothing. Then you got to ask them, well, who generates the money that pays your salary and your benefits? Production does. So production should be able to have leverage to get the other departments that are controlling the computer systems to pay for unscheduled downtime, especially if it's, oh, we're just going to reboot your computers like we do our exchange servers anytime we want to. Well, that impacts production. So it's really about availability. It's really looking at your infrastructure and seeing what are your availability needs, not just from a computer system, but also from a networking infrastructure. That's why Rockwell has such great products that allow you to duplicate or have redundant paths to all of your downstream devices, redundant paths, redundant power supplies, because it really comes down to availability. What are your availability needs? Yeah, and I guess that's probably a care for both IT and OT. It's probably one way to like bring them both together here. That is correct. Huh. I mean, that is the big disconnect is IT and OT, is IT thinks they can reboot anytime they want to, and OT can't. Yeah. And that's, I'm kind of huh. leading a groundswell to get operations to understand that they have the power.
They have the power to go to IT at a management level and say, here's the bill for your unscheduled downtime. My department's not going to pay it. Your department should pay it. Hmm. So there has to be some type of team effort here to make sure availability operations level is always there. Yeah. And there's a great document that Cisco and Rockwell put together regarding the whole IT and OT infrastructure in the Internet of Things. And it really plays out from the standpoint of a layered technology so that I have the IT at at a higher level and I have a DMZ zone between IT and OT. So OT can control their destiny. Because after all, operations is generating revenue yeah. or they're providing a service to their customers or users. It's much like the Stratus FT server is that we provide that server worldwide and in instances where it is the platform for E911 dispatch centers if they can't dispatch an ambulance or emergency service, what's the outcome? Yeah. Unfortunately, it could not be a very good outcome. Hmm. So it's really about availability, and it's working together to have that availability. Yeah, I mean, we're here to get the, at least the best solution for you guys instead of like that's having right. like a, a dumbed-down solution possible. Well, that's right, and I guess the, the real point of what we're trying to say is don't be afraid to look at what are your availability needs. Don't be afraid to ask the availability question. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say, okay, that's fine. You're going to give me those computers that you use. What's the availability scale on them? Yeah. Even if I cluster them together, what's my availability? That's about four nines. So four nines availability means that I'm going to have approximately a day of unscheduled downtime a year. Is that good enough for my operation? Mm -hmm. Someone's you know, asking that, that question. Is that the distributor or the OT, IT people in the facility you, as well, too, or both? Yeah, you have to ask everybody. Yeah. You have to ask everybody, if I'm going to provide you this solution, what are your availability needs? Yeah. And then on the other side of the fence, the end user, the actual users, have to be able to feel comfortable asking you the same question. <laughs> you know, in your solution, what level of availability are you providing me? Yeah. So, and that's part of the evangelism or, or uh, speakies, so to speak, as far as availability. Both teams or both or all three parties, because you got to think about IT, unfortunately, yeah. have to think about availability also. <laughs> that's a good point. We've been talking a lot about big data here. Like, like you got to get all this data from your machines, right? Well, it's no good if you just lose it all. <laughs> well, it's no good if you can't get to it. <laughs> yeah, also. Can't get to it, yeah. I mean, you have the same issue with. You have all this data that you're collecting downstream at the floor. If you can't get it upstream to the applications that are collecting that data and then are then handing it off to the applications that interpret the data yeah. and then create your nice little control center screen that says, I got a problem where everything's mm -hmm. green, then I got a problem. Yeah. Unfortunately, it, all it takes is a forklift to go through a <laughs> wire someplace and my uh, transport service, which is my networking, can't work anymore. Especially when you need real-time data. That's right. right. right at the time. That, that is right. That's cool. It's all about availability. Yeah, availability. I availability. Like it. That's what Gary says, all about availability. That's right. Hey, well, I appreciate it, Gary. You're welcome. Was, Thanks was for awesome. asking. Yeah, of course.